I keep saying that anybody who wants to learn Korean, I think the alphabet, you could probably learn in 30 minutes. And that, that seems like hyperbolic, but you really could. It's not that hard to learn. What do you remember what the what every single letter is, is a different story. But learning how to read it is really, really straightforward. All right, guys, what is going on? Uh, you just saw a clip of Jacksepticeye saying that it was possible to learn the Korean alphabet in only 30 minutes. And thankfully, I found this website called 90 Day Korean. God, I can't even read English. What am I doing here? Thankfully, I found this website called 90 Day Korean, who literally just posted an article four days ago called Learn the Korean Alphabet and Read the Hangul Characters. And it starts with, in this lesson, you're going to learn Korean alphabet in only 30 minutes. So, I thought, you see the live split timer up at the top left? Let's see how long it takes me to get the basics of the Korean alphabet. So, uh, how does this thing work? I'm, I'm too old for this. Oh, okay, it's starting. Oh god, that's a lot of content. Hangul, the Korean alphabet. The official writing system for the Korean alphabet is Hangul. Okay, cool. Q. The Hangul chart. Below is a basic Hangul chart for the consonants and vowels of the Korean alphabet. The first Hangul chart, or Korean alphabet chart, is for the consonants. Okay, sonic consonants are there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 16, 17, 18, 19. Romanization. I'm not here looking for love, alright? That's what Tinder's for. Why do I need to romance it? Oh, the romanticization is used for the spelling of the Korean word in English letters. If you're learning Korean, or want to know the correct punch pronunciation, then you should use the associations later in this lesson and learn the correct pronunciation of the Korean alphabet consonants. Okay, so basically there's 19 consonants. Got it. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 18, 19, 20, 21 vowels. I think I counted that right. Wait, what? The Korean alphabet has 14 consonants and 10... That is very obviously indirect to whatever the heck was just up there. Okay, 14 consonants and 10 vowels. Unlike Japanese or Chinese, which have thousands of characters, and each ha can have 10, 15, or more strokes, the most common complex Korean character in the alphabet can be written using only 5 strokes. Strokes. Got it. This lesson covers the Korean alphabet, broken down and simplified, so you can begin speaking right away. There's audio to help your pronunciation with Hangul. The audio looks like this. Got it. The Korean consonants, Hangul, has both consonants and vowels just like English. Okay. Let's earn the continents to start. This is where we're getting into the real stuff. In Korean, there are no F, R, V, or Z sounds, so let's take them out. Okay, mentally done. The rest of the continent sounds exist in the Korean language. However, Q, W, X, and Y sounds must follow one of these two rules. They can be made by combining two or more sounds. X is equal to K plus S. For example, the X sound can be made by combining the K sounds. Oh, so it's like in fire trucks. Fire trucks. Would that be correct? They cannot be made without outing a vowel sound after. For example, in Korean, we create the sounds ya or yo, but not a standalone y sound. So let's take these letters out too. Okay. K and ya or yo. Got it. Finally, let's remove the English vowels since we are first focusing on the consonant sounds. How many are remaining in red? 13. But we can group k, or we can group c and k together since in English they make the same sound and are apparently the same letter in my brain. This leaves a total of 12. Let's take a look at those 12 letters of the alphabet first. Since we're learning a new language and have never seen these shapes before, it will be very difficult for us just to memorize them. Therefore, we need to link the characters to something already in our minds in order to create association. Let's do this by using a visual learning technique to associate the new letters and pictures with sounds we already know. This looks like bed, so it's a B. Oh, I get what's about to happen. Okay. So now I get to make up little names for the characters that helps me remember what sound they are. Got it. So the little kind of thing is a bed, but sorry, taking bed. This is b sound. This is d. I don't know how that's going to be a door in my head. Kind of looks more like a d. Then we have gun, which is this symbol. And oh, he's like a little snowman. Oh, that's so cute. That makes the H sound for huh. And then this kind of looks like the symbol for fire, but it's the J sound, as in jug. And then this two is L. Uh, finally, there are the Hangul letters, O, L, and fire symbol without the line. 
which have the sounds M, N, and S respectively. Okay, so square is the M sound. The compass is an L. Okay, the Korean aspirated consonants. Now we'll learn the aspirated consonants of the Korean alphabet. To do that, let's take a look at four of the consonant sounds we just learned. B, D, G, and J. Make each of these sounds now. B, D, G, and J. Or wait, am I supposed to go B, D, J, and... Wait, no, that'd be G, and then J. I, I know English, don't worry. What if we make these consonants stronger, aspirating as we spoke them? What sound would we then make? For B, a more aspirated sound forcing out more air would make a P sound. B. How about D? It would result in a T sound. D. And a G? A K sound, like a K or a K. A G. In English, these two sounds are very similar. Try saying, I've got a cot five times. I've got a cot. 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 That one might be a harder one to accept, but the C is really just an aspirated G. Let's match up the non-aspirated English sounds with their aspirated sound pairings. See how similar these sounds really are? B, P, and D, T, and G, K, and J, T, CH. Okay. If we do the same in Korean, we'll see some visual similarities in the letters, which can greatly help for the memorization of Hangul characters. We've got bed, door, gun, uh, fire symbol, I don't remember that one, but that'll be J, because it's right next to it. Fire symbol is CH. The K sound could be compared to a key. The T sound is related to an E. It has E on a fork. Why is it... Okay, never mind. Remember math class? I hope so. Pi is equal to 3.1. No, we're wasting time. So P looks like pi. Yeah, kind of, if you put a bottom on pi, yeah, that makes sense. So there I have it. That's how you learn Hangul. Okay, so you have to, so all the consonant sounds that sound similar to each other, like D and T, have very similar looking letters. But if we said there were a total of 14 consonants in the Korean alphabet, so what are these last two Hangul letters? Okay, so the full-on fire symbol is a CH sound for church. And the fire symbol without the line is, it was CH. And, and J. J was the one without the line. Okay, yes, okay, I'm learning. And then we have a placeholder, just like in math where we use the number zero as a placeholder, in Korean, the placeholder character zero is a round shape that looks like a zero. This is a very special character! It acts as a placeholder and is silent most of the time. After you learn the Hangul vowels in the next parts of this challenge and see them next to placeholder character, you'll know what sound to make based on the vowel. However, if the placeholder character ends a particular syllable, it is pronounced ing, like in ing in English. This is a very important rule to remember. Without it, we would be tempted to just skip over the consonant, assuming it had no sound. Okay, Korean vowels. Uh, in Korean, there are ten basic Hangul vowels that you need to learn. They are the basic building blocks from which you can create all other vowels. Before we get into that, it will be helpful to do a basic review of English grammar. In English, we have short and long vowels. Okay, there's like the a ah in cat, and the a ah in mate. I can remember that. It's just like having the e added onto the end, so the letter says its name, basically. Bit, might, bus, foot. Um, all these vowel sounds exist or can be made using Korean letters, except for the short i sound. This just doesn't exist in Korean, and is so very difficult for Koreans to pronounce. They can't do i. Interesting. The first Hangul vowels we'll learn are horizontal and vertical lines with a perpendicular line in the middle facing that particular direction. It looks like this. Okay, so it's the Tetris piece flipped a bunch of different directions. The only problem is that we need to remember which way the perpendicular line points and associate that character with that particular Hangul vowel sound. Let's use a little bit of psychology to learn this part of the Korean alphabet. First, memorize the following acronym. Old iPod, new iPad. A little fun fact, did you know the first I, I don't need to know fun facts, I need to know Korean. That makes it old. The iPad came out in 2010, making it comparatively new. Easy, right? Now compare, er, now listen carefully to the vowel sound in each word. Old, long O sound. Pod, short O sound. New, long U sound. Pad, short A sound. Great, now let's go back to the acronym. We placed it on a timeline to represent when each gadget was released. Recite old iPod, new iPad, working counterclockwise around the circle. 
old iPod, new iPad, old iPod, new iPad. So it spins counterclockwise. As in a short sound, a long sound, a short sound, a long sound. Good work. Oh, thank you. Now all we need to do is line up the hangover vowels with the corresponding sounds. The letter with the line pointing up is old and has the long O sound. The letter pointing to the left has a short O sound, like the O in iPod, while the letter pointing to the right has a short A sound, like the A in iPad. Finally, the letter pointing down has a long U sound, like the U in new, and uwu, old, which is O, and the O says its name. So it's pointing, so the O is pointing up, but in pod, it's pointing uh, vertically, because the O is the short sound. So short goes vertically, and the one that says its name is horizontally. Okay, I can see how easy that is to learn, however... I'm not smarter than the average bear. Uh, not too bad, right? Commit these files to memory, and let's keep the momentum going! I'm still stuck on door, honestly. We can now create the following alphabet sounds just by adding a second line. Yo, ya, you, and ya. So, once you learn the first four vowels, the second four are really easy. All you need to do is double up the line and remember to add a Y sound in front. Learn these characters and commit them to memory. You can't see this, obviously, but I'm taking my finger and pointing around in the air. O? Ah, ooh, o ah ooh, ah. Oh, it's o ah ooh, ah. O ah ooh, ah. Okay, I finally have the pronunciations right of these small two letter words. So, there are only 10 Korean vowels, and we already know 8 of them. Luckily, we have saved the easy two for last. The last two Hangul vowels are just lines as well, one horizontal and the other vertical. The hardest part is remembering which of the Hangul letters makes which sound. Luckily, we've got some visual associations for that. The E sound is the line straight up, and it's tree. The U uh sound, brook, U, uh, is just a flat line. Also, notice the sound the double O and brook makes. This is the same sound the final Korean vowel makes. Reincurring words, just like English, you read Korean from left to right, top to bottom. However, the Hangul letters stick together, existing within small invisible boxes. Each one of these boxes can have up to four letters. Oh, they lead left to right. That's really convenient. Okay, so we have... This is just a placeholder. This circle thing is just a placeholder. And this is... Ah, this is the Korean word for hello. It is five syllable blocks, and each syllable block has two or three Korean letters. Okay, that makes sense. In the first two syllable blocks, there are two Hangul letters on top, on the top, and one on the bottom. So, following our rule of left to right, top to bottom, we read in the order of one, two, and three as shown. Same goes for the second syllable. Okay, yeah, so it's just like... Ba 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 This is all ones. This is the snowman. He had a hat. H. I'm remember. It would look like this if we wrote the numbers in. Now, if we use our... Oh, no, we just hit 20 minutes. If we use our association we learned earlier, we can pronounce the word. The words sound like an ni og ha se yo when you read it correctly. If you've gotten the associations of the Hangul consonants and values down pat in the previous sections, you can start to read some Korean words on your own. Let's try it out. Give each one a try first, then check your answers below. Okay, well, I'm just going to cheat. Well, this is ah. I know that for a fact. This one, I do not remember. This is ah. This is ah. The symbol is ah, right here. I know all the ones on the end. I know all the, the vertical ones, kind of. This one was the bed, so that's b. So that's b, ah, b, ah. What was this one? I don't remember. Okay, for the first two, we were just really rough to die. That's K is for key, plus A uh, as an iPad. Ka, this is a word meaning car. Okay, so this one's K, and I was right, this is A. Uh, so that's Ka. And then N is for northeast, plus EO, as in, as in pod. Neo, this means you. Okay, so the L is the N. Okay, now for the third one. We just read left to right for the first syllable, then top to bottom for the second syllable. That would make it B for bed. Yeah, B for bed. Plus A, er, 
I R as in iPod, iPad, plus A. I keep saying A. It's A. B for bed and A as in iPad plus B for bed. Wait. Those are, these are both B? Plus O as in, oh, okay, so the letters can connect. Yeah, I, I guess I should have gotten, I, know, I thought that this was its own symbol, but I know that this is B. And then if I went around doing my hand motion thing, I would have gone that that's the O. So, yeah, this is Babo. This is a Korean word for fool. If you can read these words already, you are definitely not a Babo. Great work. Now remember the placeholder character O that doesn't make any sound if placed in front of a vowel. It exists for a special reason. So let's do a recap. Uh, if I want to, I'll just go back and try to memorize these. The purpose is not to memorize the letters of the Korean alphabet. It's just to understand how everything works. So ready? Let's go for round two. Okay, so this is an O, so that would not pronounce anything. And then this is the O as in old. So it's O and then this L shape, which I think is N, and then the vertical line, which is the the brook. So that's U, so NU, and then the two was, oh no, what was the two? Was the two L? I don't know why I remember, is it L? So this is, this is O, oh no, this has to be an L. Did you remember to ignore the placeholder? Good. For the first syllable, O is in old, then N is in northeast, and U is in brook, and L for ladder. Yo, I nailed that one. Romanticize is written as Onul. Yeah, I said that right. Okay, I'm not an idiot. I feel like that's enough of that one. Okay, Korean double consonants. In the alphabet, strong double consonants also exist, but the good news is that there is no need to learn any new characters to incorporate them into the skill set. Oh, okay, this is why there wasn't the... Uh, there were more consonants than what I was counting. It's because the consonants are sometimes used twice together, and it makes the same sound, just pronouncing it stronger. Okay, that makes sense. So, the two C's are D's, so it'd be d, d Okay, so now you're supposed to have know all these. Okay, and then you can also combine the vowels. Is there only There's only two vowel combinations, it looks like. So this one is the O and the E, and it becomes the E as an egg, I, I. And this one is the A as in iPad, or the A, the A as in iPad, and the E from tree, and you get egg. The same sound. Even though the pronunciation is the same, the romanticization spelling is different. It's done that way, so if you see the spelling in English, you know which egg is used to spell the word in Korean. And they have a video about how to differentiate. Oh, and there's a bunch more vowels. Combination. So it basically just takes the E sound and I'm guessing the the ook sound in brook and then combines them in interesting ways. Mastering Korean alphabet reading. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? You're already well on your way toward learning the Korean alphabet. We just wanted to make things super easy for you to print out and study, so we created a downloadable lesson. Okay, so this is all the stuff that we just learned about consonants. Uh, how to write in Korean. Now that you know how to read Korean, let's talk about how to write in Korean. Uh, first, we'll talk about how to write Korean letters individually, how to write them. Each Korean symbol is made of uh, at least one consonant and one vowel. It's possible to have multiple consonants as well. Okay, I don't know how much more this is about writing, but most of this I just wanted to hit Korean, or reading Korean. So, uh, writing... This talks about a little bit about reading, or translating, I guess, from Korean to English. So, writing Korean word in English letters is called romanti romanization. Each letter in the Korean alphabet has a corresponding letter or set of letters. It's not hard to learn and has some common practical uses. For example, you may need to write down an address or building name in Korean for someone that doesn't know Hangul. In that case, you could write it in romanized Hangul, which would be a good option approximation and I think that's it stop the time oh no that just deleted it okay uh that was like 29 minutes and 14 seconds I think I got the basis of Korean which is pretty accurate uh challenge complete if I do say so myself but just 
to kind of cement this win in my head, I want to go, yeah, I want to go back up here to where it had all of these letters. So this line here is the E sound, as in tree. And then this is not a placeholder. This is G, I think. M for male, plus I as in tree, plus G for gun, plus U as in do, plus G for gun again. This word is written in English as miguk, and it's the Korean word for USA. Okay, so this is M. This is E. This is G for as in gun. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. This makes the gun shape. And then old iPod, new. It's the ooh sound. So M, E, me, goo. Migook. That's the Korean word for you. Okay. K. Or no, I shouldn't be changing. Well, now I know this is K for Korean. Um, old. Eventually, hopefully, I won't have to stop doing this finger thing, obviously. But old. I paw. So this is caw. Caw. As in like a bird. Caw. And then. This is the U uh in brook. And then the double line. Or would you go to the E next? What does it say for this? Because uh, I feel like this could go either way. Is it being like the slanted line first and then down? Or just going left to right like it said, even though the right, the rightmost sound, which is the E sound, is taking up like the entire side. So this is K as in key plus I pod. So it's ka. Plus P, wait, plus P, wait, where's P? I got the K and the E sound, but where does the, plus P for Pi? Oh, is this whole th thing supposed to be Pi? I thought Pi was just, the letters aren't connected here, but I guess that's just supposed to be P. And then I, and the tree again. So this is Ka P, Ka P. The Korean word for coffee. Okay, so I feel like I really do have the basic understanding of how the Korean alphabet works. And yeah, that's pretty accurate. It took me a little bit less than 30 minutes, so maybe I am smarter than the average bear? I don't know. But uh, yeah, that was actually a lot of fun. And while I thought this was going to be just like some one-off content, I might actually, maybe like in a couple of months or so, do an update video on me learning how much I've learned Korean. Because this does seem really easy to do. And yeah, I would definitely recommend trying this. Uh, this is a really well put together thing from... No, I, I'm sorry. I did... For you set this step guide. Uh, I might do that later. But uh, a really nice article by 98 Korean about how to learn the Korean alphabet in only 30 minutes. And as I just shown you, it's it's pretty actually accurate. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to have time for for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please think about actually liking the video and maybe even subscribing. That would be great. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.